Omega Lady Matic presents Leading Women. A giant, an industry leader, a behemoth, all superlatives that can be used to describe Pfizer, the world's largest drug company. Maker of Viagra and Lipitor, the best-selling drug of all time. It's at Pfizer headquarters in New York that we find an executive who also seems larger than life. Thank you. What's happening, darling? Here you go. Though with a softer side. All right, come on in. Let's uh, rock and roll. Whether it's discussing a website redesign. So I'm really excited about the prospect of this. People will come in, they'll search. A clinical trial. People who participate in clinical trials so often say the reason that they're doing is to help. Or her schedule. And then from D.C., you head out to L.A. So I'm on the road quite a bit, which is for Pfizer, almost every country that has a flag and a seat at the U.N. Such is the life of Pfizer's executive vice president and chief medical officer, where she leads the company's medical and regulatory policy and patient safety around the world, a position she's held since 2009. The top doc at Pfizer is Frida Lewis-Hall. Dr. Frida Lewis-Hall is not an overly guarded executive. She laughs easily. <laughs> She's forthcoming. Never take a job you already know how to do. A confessed geek who studied brain biology and psychiatry. You don't seem to have airs or walls around you at all, but yet you handle hundreds of millions of dollars worth of business. How do you balance that? I learned in medical school the words for it, equanimity under duress, um, which is the calm to make the right decisions and the confidence to um, inspire other people to get things done. Awareness of tough times came early for Lewis Hall. It's also what led her to medicine. I've wanted to be a doctor since I was six years old, and I had an uncle who lived with us who was a paraplegic as a result of being stricken by polio. And just watching the medical care that he received and the people that gave it inspired me. And I knew right away that's what I wanted to do. And she hasn't looked back, defying race, gender, humble beginnings, and naysayers along the way. Chief Medical Officer Chief of medical Pfizer. Chief Medical Officer of Pfizer. Chief Medical Officer of Pfizer. <laughs> It's a, it's a great job, I have to say. It is an amazing job with a wonderful It's a huge responsibility. Company. Part of my responsibility is the safe, the effective, and appropriate use of our products from the first time they touch someone in a clinical trial mm -hmm. to the last time someone touches one of our, our medicines anywhere in the world. A lofty goal, but not always easy for the industry to do. Pfizer, like some of its competitors, has taken some hits over the years. Drug recalls, even a lawsuit, accusing the company of delaying a less expensive generic version of its blockbuster cholesterol drug Lipitor from entering the market. Claims Pfizer vehemently denies and is vowing a vigorous defense. Let's go to um, yep. Lipitor, which was obviously enormous. Yes. Enormous drug. Now it has to go into generic form. What does that mean to a company? I mean, obviously, a tremendous reduction in, in profits. Yes. We support generics. In fact, we make generics. And we understand that at a point, the patent will expire, it will become generic, and hopefully, we will have brought new innovative medicines into, um, into the hands of patients. In a male-dominated industry, what's it like? to be the chief medical officer. You must have men around you that probably question your authority. That's not easy. I actually feel empowered as a woman in this position. And I, as a woman, feel like I have some very special attributes to bring to the table. In the coming weeks, find out more about Lewis Hall visits to the Science Museum with her father influenced her career.
Presents Leading Women.